Dear students, in this module, I'll elaborate on the gene bank. You know that the public databases that contain sequences of DNAs, RNAs, and proteins. Note that RNAs here is essentially a bigger class of the RNAs where you, can, you may have microRNAs, tRNAs, ribosomal RNAs, and others. So I have summarized all of those RNAs into the term RNA. So I'll be referring to all of them by this. You know that the DNA and the RNA sequences are available in gene bank, while the protein sequences are available in Uniprot. So let's take a look at gene bank. Before we delve into the gene bank website, first we need to select a gene or a DNA sequence which we would like to search in the gene bank. So for that, I've selected the example of the immunoglobulin. So it's a glycoprotein antibody, which is responsible for uh, catering the cell in case of an attack by a bacteria or virus. So you can simply search gene bank by typing IgK in their website. So the first thing is to go to the gene bank. You need to visit this URL. I will recite it for you, ncbi.nlm.nih.gov forward slash gene bank. Once you do that, you will arrive at this portal here. And you will type in IGK, IGK here. And the results that will be output will contain 2031 nucleotide sequences, which will be listed one by one downwards if you scroll. So I have cut the lower portion of the web page to make it easy for you to read it. And if you look carefully, your search has resulted in IGKs from these species, these molecules these databases so essentially gene bank has fetched immunoglobulin for you from all of these species and molecular types and listed them here moreover if you want to look into the details of all of them the results have been paged for you so there are about a hundred pages which you can scroll down by clicking next or last but if you want to go with let's say number two you can simply click on this hyperlink and it will take you into the details of this result so i click that for you and here is the page that you will see after clicking the number two result so here you can see bacillus serious genomic scaffold whole genome shotgun sequence so it's a whole genome sequence so it's going to be very large for you and it has defined the locus, the definition, accession number, version, keywords, source and lots of other information if you scroll down. Now if you want to look at the sequence, you can simply click on the FASTA. The FASTA will lead you to this sequence. This is of course not the whole sequence. The page was very long because it was the whole genome. So I've just taken the first initial few nucleotides for you to display them here. So you can see that from the first nucleotide up till the 60th here, they have been listed like that CAT, ATT, ATAT, and the sequence continues line by line. So in this way, you can search a specific gene or DNA sequence or RNA sequence and reach its FASTA sequence and analyze it further. So the gene bank gives you the accession number, the sequence, the species, the organisms, amongst a lot of other information which can be very useful in your research. The other information which may be useful also includes the locus information, the authors, the journal and 
the reporting people.